Great Lakes Prepping here. Last year, I made a video showing three different ways to preserve your corn harvest. That video ended up being very long because there was just so much to cover since I showed every single step for freezing, dehydrating, and pressure canning corn. So this year, I've decided to sort of remix that long video and break it up into three separate and much shorter videos that will hopefully be a little more digestible than the one great big long video. And in this video, we're talking about dehydrating. All the steps to go from a fresh cob of corn and end up with a shelf-stable jar full of dehydrated kernels. I'm a big fan of dehydrating vegetables because they can be shelf stable for years to come. Devoid of moisture, most vegetables can last a very long time when dehydrated and stored in an airtight container, such as a mason jar. So the first step that I need to do is shuck and clean all of this corn. Now I won't make you sit here and watch me do all that because you know what it looks like, but I'll do the same thing, shuck the corn, give it a quick rinse, and dry them off a little bit. All right, the next thing we have to do is take the kernels off the cob. Now I'll mention that for dehydrating, I do actually cook the corn before dehydrating. I find that it helps them rehydrate a little better. So I could boil these in some water first and then remove the kernels, but I find that doing it before cooking both makes it easier and that I don't have to try to hold a hot cob of corn. And also the kernels are a little more firm and they just sort of slice off a little easier without creating any kind of a mushy mess that you might get when you do it after boiling. So for this, you can use a sharp knife or any one of the number of gadgets that they make specifically for doing this. I'll use my little corn cob peeler shaver thing because I think it works pretty well. Now, if you're wondering if there's a way to do this without making a huge mess, mm, no, not really. Not unless you've rigged up some sort of containment system and maybe a bench mounted corn shaving device. So I'll just accept that there's gonna be kernels everywhere. I might as well make a big mess and then clean it up at the end. All right, now I've got my corn all gathered up and put into my pasta cooking pot, which is great because the whole inner thing here is basically a big colander. So when I wanna remove this from the pot, I can just put the whole thing in the sink and lift this inner pot out. Makes it super easy. But of course, you don't have to have one of those. You can just use a regular pot and then run everything through a colander when it's done. So what I've done is put all the kernels into this pot and sort of just filled it up with enough water to cover it. And now I'm gonna let it come up just about to a boil stir it a couple times, and that's it. We're just sort of partially or mostly cooking it, and that's all we need to do. Then we'll pull it out and let it drain. All right, now that our corn is cooked and drained, the next step is to put it in the dehydrator. And of course, for this, I'm using my Excalibur dehydrator, which I absolutely love. You can certainly use a smaller dehydrator. I just like this one because I can put a lot of stuff in it all at once. And I've got a few of my trays laid out on some dish towels because even though I've strained that corn, it's still gonna have a fair amount of water that needs to drip off and we'll just let them drip on these trays on the dish towels for just a little bit and then we're sticking them into the dehydrator and since this corn is still pretty hot right now i'll go ahead and use a slotted spoon to just sort of distribute it over these trays All right, we've got our corn spread out and it's been just sort of drying on the counter here for a little while, not real long, just a, just a few minutes. And now I'm going to carefully put these trays into the dehydrator. Now you can see that I've removed uh, most of the empty trays that I don't need to use. I only had 
four trays worth of corn. By spacing them out a little bit, it'll actually dehydrate faster. So I'll get those trays out of there if they're not in use. I'll go ahead and put the cover on the front. So now all I have to do is turn the dehydrator on and leave it alone for several hours. The Excalibur dehydrator has a temperature gauge and I'm setting it at 125 degrees, which is the recommended temperature for most vegetables. I'll leave this alone for probably 12 to 18 hours and check on it once in a while between now and then. Depending on the moisture content and size of the kernels, uh, we'll make it take more time or less time. I've had corn take upwards of 24 hours. So we'll pick it back up here when these things are dehydrated. Well, it's been just about 17 hours of running this dehydrator. I think we're, we're pretty good. I probably didn't need to go quite that long, but it was running overnight and so I shut it off when I woke up. So now we just need to sort of carefully take all of the corn off our screens here and put them into something. So I got all my kernels into this baking dish and made sure to kind of wipe off those mesh screens as good as I could to get all my bits of corn. And if you recall, this is 10 cobs of corn right here. It sure takes up a lot less space when it's dehydrated. Now storing this dehydrated corn couldn't be easier. We're gonna put it in a quart mason jar and then vacuum seal it. Pull all the air out of there and this thing will be shelf stable for years to come. So that's it, 10 cobs comes out to be, well, about three quarters of a quart. Now it's time to break out the food saver and the mason jar lid attachment. If you haven't seen me use this thing before, it's super cool, very easy to use. What we're gonna do is take the lid for our mason jar, put it on there, carefully sort of put this jar attachment over top, and then we'll hit the vacuum button on the food saver. We don't need to wait for it to seal because it's not actually sealing anything. And to release our jar attachment, we just have to break that uh, suction on the hose. And this thing pulls right off. And now our lid is completely sealed in place. That's it. That's dehydrating corn. Real quick, let's talk about a few pros and cons of the dehydrating method of preserving corn. Dehydrating. The pros are that it's shelf stable and for a really long time. If completely dehydrated and stored properly, it'll be perfectly fine for 10 or more years. And after the initial dehydrating process, it requires no electricity whatsoever. The cons? Well, there's a little bit of prep time and quite a bit of actual dehydrating time somewhere between 12 and 24 hours. And you have to rehydrate the corn before you can eat it. And because rehydrated corn is never quite the same as fresh, frozen, or even canned, it's best used in things like soups and stews. So that's about it. If you already have a food dehydrator, it's really quite simple to turn that corn into the perfect long-term storage ingredient for soups and stews. And if you don't have a dehydrator and want to learn more about the one that I use, I'll put a link to it in the video description. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay up to date on all our latest stuff, including future food preservation videos. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Great Lakes Prepping.